Hello and welcome to another episode. I get asked quite often how you tell if your car's got a heat pump or not. So in the EV6, I've discovered via Kia Owners Club forum that there is now an easier way. The other way is to take the front out and look underneath or try and peek down the side of the battery carrier. So I'll show all methods here and I'll explain what's going on. So I'd many thanks to Dirk EV3 and Watto UK on the kiaowners.co.uk EV forum uh, for providing this information. Okay, so if I, if I pop the bonnet on my rear wheel drive EV6 with no heat pump, you can actually tell from the capacity of the coolant system for the, the AC, how much refrigerant actually goes in. So mine, it's got a, a label, it's got a yellow and white label that says 750 plus 25G. So that's the capacity of a non-heat pump version. Now, the guys over on the Kia EV3 forum on kiaowners.co.uk pointed out that the non-heat pump Kia EV3 has got a similar label for non-heat pump versions with the same capacity. So that's the inside of um, Sunset Orange, that's the one I'm getting, which says 750 plus 25. So that's an, also a non-heat pump version. Now, this next image is from an EV3 with a heat pump. So as you will see, the capacity is higher and that says 850 plus 25. So Kia EV6 with a heat pump is gonna be the higher capacity label inside the bonnet. So that's your quick and easy way of telling then the other way of telling is to take the frunk out or to try and pick down the side of the battery carrier. So many thanks to user Martin350 for sending these heat pump images. I always meant to do a video on this and uh, someone reminded me the other day that I, I didn't. So here is a diagram of the heat pump system which Martin has provided showing all the little bits. And the main difference is there's more pipes. Um, down where the HVAC uh, AC pump is, there are more pipes on it. You can physically see the difference. And, it, and if you look at the heat pump version, which is the image Martin sent me, you can clearly see there's, a, there's two pipes running across and one that goes all the way across to the heat pump, highlighted in red. So as you can see, there's a lot more pipes going around. And that's my non-heat pump version. And you can see there's a whole pipe missing and the sensor plugs into a different place. So the, the AC compressor pump is a different actual physical thing. And down the side of the battery carrier, if you shine a light down, you should be able to see the extra pipage in theory. Now, I, I don't have one of these, so I can't check this for sure, but I'm guessing it's probably another way of doing it. Probably without even shining a light down. Anyway, I hope you find this useful. Thank you for watching.